Liliana. Ah, oh, so lovely to see you again, my dear. Spare me the pleasantries. I know you're... Oh, you must excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like wet dog everywhere. I cannot get the smell out. Even now it is in my hair, my clothes. Ugh. So business-like, your companion. You framed me, had me caught and tortured. I thought that in Ferelden I would be free of you, but it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Why do you want me dead so badly? Dead? Nonsense. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see? Here you are. Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. It is you think I did not know where you were? Did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought? The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Uh, this is not her. You were planning something, I told myself, so I watched. But no letters were sent, no messages, you barely spoke to anyone. Clever, Liliana, very clever. You almost had me fooled. But then, you left the Chantry so suddenly. What conclusion should I draw? You tell me. You think I left because of you? You think I still have some plan for... for revenge? You are insane, paranoid. Oh, is that what you think? If I were you, I would believe nothing she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend, trusting and warm. It is an act. I am not you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? It is because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power it gave you. You cannot change or deny this. Thank you. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. You've caused too much pain for too many, Marjolaine. It ends here. And you think you can kill me like that? I made you, Liliana. I can destroy you just as easily. It's over. She's dead. She's dead because of me. I... I need some time to myself. We... we'll talk later. Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. Maybe, but that is not the point. I was a different person there. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. It's already happened. When we killed her, I... I enjoyed it. Seeing her dead gave me satisfaction. But that is no reason to rejoice over her death. 
That is what she would do. I don't want that. What we're doing. What we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. I admit that I took great pleasure in the intrigue back in Orlais. It was dangerous and chaotic and exciting, but it destroyed my life. I thought the Chantry showed me another path. I thought I was done with this life. Am I wrong? There is this thought that floats into my mind constantly. That I lie when I say the Chantry gave me peace, when in truth it... It bored me. Here, with you, knowing the freedom of the road and the uncertainty of tomorrow, I feel alive again. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Do you remember our discussion? I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. I didn't want to admit it, even to myself, but those years in Lothering, I yearned for the freedom and the recklessness that I knew in Orlais. The Maker made the world beautiful, but he also made it dangerous. To really experience it, I have to embrace this, not, not hide away in some nunnery. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you.